Right, today we got Why Did Britain Lose Hanover? This is from History Matters. They do amazing videos. Let's get straight into this one, man. When King James VI of Scotland inherited the English throne, he made it his top priority to unify the two kingdoms into one entity. He failed, but his descendant, Queen I don't Anne, even know where would Hanover to succeed is. when in 1707 the Act of Union created the Kingdom of Great Britain. Right. In 1801, there would be a second unification with Ireland to create the United yeah. Kingdom. This was undertaken by King George III, who wanted to stop Ireland from drifting away. Yet, as this act was being drafted, George was also the ruler of another state, the Kingdom of Hanover, located here in what's now Germany. And despite oh, Britain and Hanover sharing the same... Oh, okay, I'm guessing that we got Hanover from, like, the World War II then, right? ...for over 120 years... The wait, wait, wait. No, we didn't, because this said... Didn't it say night... Didn't it say a time that was before... World War II? ...unified, which raises the question, why? Why didn't Hanover join the United Kingdom, and why did the two eventually go their separate ways? So first, a bit of background. In 1714, when Queen Anne, who had no heirs, opted out of living, the British throne passed to her closest Protestant relative, George I, the Elector of Hanover. He swiftly moved to Britain because that's where the money and the power... Okay, yeah. Yeah, this had nothing to do with World War II. <laughs> ...were, and the two kingdoms were thereafter run separately, but with the unified... This had nothing foreign to do with World War II. From the beginning, though, the two domains were seen as very separate entities by both sides. Hanoverian culture was very different to Britain's, and there was very little in the way of shared history between them in the same way that England and Scotland had. Furthermore, from the perspective of Hanover, the electors leaving the country and running it mostly from London meant that local leaders felt that it had largely been reduced to a British puppet state. And in Britain, leaders there didn't exactly have high opinions of Hanover either. It was seen as an autocratic liability, since it had previous disputes with Sweden, France and Prussia that Britain would now have to take a side in. Furthermore, George I and the II were largely disliked in Britain since they were seen as being too foreign and too fond of Hanover. George III had the opposite problem, and despite reigning for, like, ever, he never visited Hanover. And it was during his reign that the electorate of Hanover it, was George. conquered and disestablished by Napoleon. And after his defeat, there was a lot of opposition in Hanover to the restoration of the British monarchy there. In the end, though, George's representatives won out, and not only was Hanover enlarged, but it was also made a kingdom with George as its first monarch. Although not long after this, his son would succeed him as George IV. So, with the same king in charge of the two states, was there any formal attempt to unite the two? Nope. And the reason for this was that Britain was a quickly liberalising country with established limits on royal and noble power. Whereas Hanover was not. And in the wake of the Napoleonic Wars, few Europeans... Yeah, but couldn't they... They, they, they could... Like, I'm sure they could have just made Hanover similar to United Kingdom, right? The, the link. The nations were in favour of such liberalising movements. Many Hanoverians felt that they were German and wished to distance themselves right. from British meddling. And during I the suppose. reign of William IV, the rift between the two nations. I suppose, since considering that it is in Germany, nations grew. Pretty British much. Prime Minister the Earl Grey pressured the king to force Hanover to implement liberal reforms. These were rejected, and to many, it became clear that now the union was dead because William didn't have any children. And as such, the nation's different succession laws would see different monarchs succeed the throne. In Britain, the throne would pass to Victoria, and in Hanover, it would pass to Ernest Augustus because under Salic law, no girls allowed. And so, in 1837, when William died, the two kingdoms went their own separate ways. The British were by and large glad that Hanover wasn't their problem anymore. And the Hanoverians were glad that they could finally pursue their own destiny without... Bro, it actually sounded like Britain did want Hanover from the very get-go. They, they, <laughs> they just wanted someone which to they have it anyway. ...for 29 whole years before being conquered by Prussia. And British influence there would be forever gone, barring its occupation by them in the wake of the Second World War. I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you... Really interesting video from Mr. Rat as they always are. Hope that you guys did enjoy it too. If you guys got any videos you want me to like react to or anything, link them down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.